In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to crochet nice warm hat with wave pattern. Also, I show you how to crochet the crown for this hat. Here how it looks. Let's begin the work. For work you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, till you will get 80 chains in the foundation chain. You should make the foundation chain loosely. I made 80 chains and joined the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Before you will make a slip stitch, please check that it won't be twisted. The ring is ready. Begin the first round. I will begin from brim part. For this chain 3 to bring up the yarn. And double crochet into the each stitch of the foundation chain. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 1 is made. Let's start round 2. For this back post single crochet, then chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 2 is ready. Begin round 3. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, then front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet and back post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. 
We did first, second and began the third one. In total it should be five of them. You should make two more rounds as we did in the tutorial. We did five rounds of the brim. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five. Let's begin the main pattern. For this chain three to bring up the yarn. Then double crochet into the same stitch that we have just worked it into. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet through the next stitch. And double crochet into the same stitch one more time. Double crochet through the next stitch and double crochet white through the next stitch. Then double crochet and two double crochet through the next stitch. I will alternate till the end of this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of the round by working a slip stitch. Round is made. Begin the next round of the main pattern for this back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Pause double crochet. Then four front pause double crochet. One. Two. Three. And four. Two back pause double crochet. One. Two. And four front pause double crochet in a row. One. Two. Three. Two back post double crochet in the round one, two, I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 2 is made. Before we continue, let's stop here and look at work. The report is 12 stitches. Here is it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In total, it should be 10 reports in the head. Begin round 3. Back pause single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet. Yarn over four times to work with front post triple treble crochet stitch. We skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
two, three, four, five, six, and front post triple treble crochet stitch around the seventh one. One. And make three front post triple treble crochet stitches more. In total it should be four of them. Two. Three. And four. Then yarn over the hook and make two back posts double crochet in a row. One and make the second one. Then yarn over four times to work with front post triple treble crochet stitch and make four front post triple treble crochet stitches. Make the first one. Make the second one. Three. We have just done the cable stitch pattern. Two back post double crochet. One. And two. Then yarn over four times and make the cable stitch pattern in the same way as we did in the first time. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 3 is made. Begin round 4. For this back post single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet. Then I will be making front post double crochet stitches. Let's count one, two, three, and four. We did four front post double crochet stitches, now two back post double crochet, one, 
into then four front paws double crochet one two three and four two back pause double crochet one two then front pause double crochet four times and so on keep working in this way till the end of this round Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round is made. Let's look at work. Here what we have so far. Then I will repeat the third and the fourth round. You should repeat the third and the fourth round as many times as you need. I did the straight part of the head. Let's measure it. It is 16 centimeters. It is enough for me. So begin the crown. The last round was front post and back post double crochet stitches. Begin the first round of the crown. Back post single crochet chain to bring up the yarn then back post double crochet then yarn over four times we skip six stitches one two three four five six and four front post triple treble crochet stitches in a round first one two, three, and four. Make back post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull her all loops on the hook. Make four front post triple treble crochet stitches. First one, two. three
und vor. The cable is ready. Back post double crochet, two together. First one, make the second one around the next stitch and pull through all loops on the hook. Then you should make cable stitch pattern in the same way as we did in the first time. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete the first round of the crown. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch by working a slip stitch. Round is made. Begin the second round of the crown. Back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Then front post double crochet two together. Make the first one. Make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Front post double crochet two together. Make the first one. Make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Then back post double crochet. And front post double crochet two together twice. First one not finish, make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. The first one is done. Let's repeat again. First one, the second one, and pull through all loops on the hook. Then back post double crochet and Continue working in this way till the end of the round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is made. Begin round three of the crown. Back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn, yarn over twice, we skip one, two, three stitches, and front post treble crochet around the fourth stitch. And front post treble crochet more. Back post double crochet. Then front post treble crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Then front post, treble crochet around the next stitch that was skipped. Back post, double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round.
here what do we have so far? I'm about to complete round 3. To complete this round, work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Begin round 4. Back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn and front post double crochet not finish then the second front post not finish and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet then front post double crochet two together make the first one Make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Make back post double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round 4. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round is ready. Begin round 5. For this back post single crochet, chain to bring up the yarn, then front post double crochet, then back post double crochet. not finish, make front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook back post not finish front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet not finish Front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Here what we have. We need to crochet one more round of the crown. It will be the sixth round of the crown. We skip chain stitch on the beginning of this round, insert the hook into the stitch by working a slip stitch. Round 5 is made. Begin round 6. Insert the hook around the front post double crochet by working front post single crochet, chain to bring up the yarn. Insert the hook around the front post double crochet, make front post double crochet. I will be working with front post double crochet stitches. Make the first one front post not finish, make the second one front post not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Front post not finish, make the second front post not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round 6. We skip chain stitch, insert the hook into the stitch by working a slip stitch. Round is made. We can cut off the yarn. Here is our crown. Now 
I will sew this hole. This is back side of the head. Take a thread through the needle. With the needle go through the stitch. With the needle go through the stitch. With the needle go through the stitch. And pull a little bit. As you can see our hole become smaller. With the needle go through the stitch. I will sew two or three rounds. The crown is ready. As you can see our pattern on the crown. The head is almost ready and we need to make a trim around the brim part of the head. Insert the hook into the any stitch. Take the working yarn pull it through. Make a chain and Reverse single crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain. Like this. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's make the last reverse single crochet. Remove the hook, insert it into the first reverse single crochet, take the working loop, pull it through, and the round is ready and we can cut off the yarn. The trim is made. Here how it looks. The hat is ready and we can measure it. The height is Twenty centimeters, five millimeters. The head is perfect for from fifty two to fifty six or fifty seven centimeters of head circumference. The head is ready. You can leave this head with this small hole. Now I show you how to make them smaller or remove them. This is reverse side of the head. This is the cable stitch pattern. This is one side and this is other one. Insert the hook. I insert the hook into the stitch that I did two stitches into. And make a chain. And pull it. Make a chain of two. Insert the hook into the stitch. By making a slip stitch, chain two and make a slip stitch 
into this hole. Chain two and make a slip stitch. I will be making this till the crown of this hat. I did slip stitches in this way till the crown of the head. Make a chain. Insert the hook into the stitch by working a slip stitch. Make chain and To work a slip stitch. I skip this row and move to another one, chain two, insert the hook into the stitch by working a slip stitch, chain two and slip stitch. So continue working in this way till this point. You can make here a chain if you want. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Today we have learned how to crochet beautiful cable stitch pattern hat with Crown. As, a, uh, as you remember, I showed you how to remove the small holes in the head. For more video tutorials, please visit our website sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials, which are published every week. Only at sharonitin.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching.